Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season two, episode 11. This episode is called Here There Be Dragons. Yes! Bring it. Bring the dragons. I want the dragons. <laughs> this is the best scene of all time ever! <laughs> <laughs> I love dragons. Anyway, loved last episode. So I re and I really don't have anything more to bring to it this episode except one thing, which is my theory about the protein molecule. I got on a kind of one track thought about the way that the protein molecule could work in a very literal, specific way on Ganymede in that it could accelerate the evolutionary process of plants, increase diversity and prevent a cascade. But there's a whole other thing about this because Mars, what about the terraforming of Mars? Is there a way that the proto molecule could be applied that would erase the 150 year wait that they've got now to terraform the planet into like a much shorter period and to be honest the way the protein molecule goes what weeks months a couple of years versus 150 years and i can't believe that thought has not come to me properly before in like a really coherent way i've been dancing around it i think but it's it's kind of right there for me now of that that really is probably the biggest benefit that mars could get for, from a plant perspective would be to be able to terraform Mars and have it have the environment changed. So that's going to be interesting. And we're getting into the home straight of the season now. So, you know, the wheels are going to start coming off. Stuff's going to be exploding and apparently there's going to be dragons. So here we go. Let's have at it. Ganymede before the mirrors fell. Oh my god! Are we gonna. If our client had any doubts, this will put him to rest. Dr. Strickland! We needed more time. After Eros, after Toss, we needed to speed things along. It's not exactly the most controlled experiment. It might get a bit messy, but we'll get more answers sooner. Dr. Strickland! Fuck. The supply ship Arabella has arrived with a full sector. Exciting day. Okay, now what's he gonna do? This is where they were. This is it. I went through here. Sure was nice of Chicken Boy to give us a skeleton key. I'm pretty sure it wasn't out of the goodness of his heart. I do not want to see another blue person in a bathroom. Try to stop me from bashing that kid's head in. Well, you've taught me a lot about futility. Nah. <laughs> I think I just beat you to it. For a molecule turned an asteroid into a missile. If we can prevent it from doing something worse, I don't mind bashing some assholes in it. It's been a while since Strickland brought your daughter down here. I know. Look, I know exactly how much time's passed. You need to be ready. In case we... In case we don't find her? Look, you haven't lost a child. Yes, I have. My baby boy was taken from me. And I tried, and I tried to find him, and I failed. It took me a very long time to understand that it wasn't my fault. Would you have listened to anyone who was telling you what you're telling me now? This is not my time to stop. father was always so proud of you told me how the two of you used to go free climbing in the mariner valley he told me about the accident about how he fell how you carried him on your back saved his life what happened to that girl who knew her duty fuck you her fire team got killed by a thing on ganymede that wasn't wearing a back suit damn right you lied to me about ganymede yeah 
You all lied about Travis. You've been lying to me this whole time. Damn right. You may have jeopardized the future of Mars, but all you can think about is your peace of mind. You, your whole generation is soft. You're spoiled. Peace of mind is a luxury that no Martian can afford, especially not a Marine. But you won't have to worry about that much longer. What's that supposed to mean? You won't be going back to parade, Bobby, because you don't follow orders, and a soldier follows orders. Wow, what a prick. You're not a soldier. Oh, she'll be a soldier. Dismissed. You're dismissed. My money is on Bobby. She is getting involved in this situation, I'm telling you. She ain't going off to pasture. Martian's not backing off, sir. All right, then. Let's give the Mickey something to talk about. Launching two. That was cheeky. No, they're gone. God damn it. Well, that makes six. The atmosphere above the impact site is far more corrosive than it should be, and it's getting worse. Oh, there's clearly something else going on down there. Now, there's no way those structures around that crater are natural formations. We have two probes left. What if we cannibalize the shielding from one to reinforce the other? Reduce the time of flight to surface. I bet that gets the job done. It would also break mission protocols. Do you think if Magellan followed protocols, he would have circumnavigated the world? <laughs> You know what sailors used to say when their ships went past the end of their maps? Here there be dragons. Here there be dragons! The structures around the crater cannot be natural. I'll let you know how it goes. I think I found a way to get to Jules Piramel. That's good. His whole family's reeling under the financial pressure we've put on them, and I think his eldest daughter, Clarissa, is ready to crack. He adores her, and if we make an amnesty offer to her... Yeah. She may be able to sell him on it. I think he's up for amnesty. When the Aris incident hearings are convened, they're going to make you the star of the show. Excuse me? My good friend, Jules Piermel. If he's not here to pay for his crimes, they're going to take it out on me. Oh, no. No, 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 no. What did you tell them? Nothing. Tell them yourself. Atone for your sins. Will you speak on my behalf? Side of Sorry, you. I shouldn't have even said that. I mean, it'd be a dumb move for you, obviously. There's no need to taint yourself with my folly. Pause. I've got a sick feeling in my stomach that he is gonna betray her last minute of this thing. And I hope I'm wrong. That is all play. You'll get through this. Yeah. Yeah. One way or another. Fuck's sake. Thanks for the heads up. She's back at the ocean. Oh, never mind. It's time. What's happening? What the fuck? just received an emergency flash from the UN. Apparently they got wind of an OPA blocked upon your transport. Who sent the notification? Came directly from Undersecretary Avicerella's office, sir. Yes! What's the Karakoon? Why is that there? Can you tag it? Why? It smells like black ops to me. Yeah. Think you agree? I do. They're probably here for the exact same reason we are. Shit, that means I gotta get down there before they do. Plot, 
gravity assist trajectory down to Ganymede. No engine, just thrusters. Said it was gonna be easy. All right, darling. Saddle up. Slingshot time. Trigger happy idiots in orbit. Uh, everybody knew that a field test might cause collateral damage. Not like this. This will delay the transfer. This could be the start of a goddamn war. Oh, it's time for your medicine. No. I want to go home now. See the milkweed? It's a chrysalis. Mm. A butterfly will squeeze its way out of there soon. I was about your age. I saw one trying to get out, but it was having trouble. So I tried to help, and the butterfly came right out. But it couldn't fly. It was supposed to struggle. Don't you want to be able to fly one day? This is not okay. This is not at all okay. That was his medipen. This is May's medicine. She needs a dose every day. Strickland's keeping her alive. Whatever the reason for that is, he's not ready to learn it. I got a bad feeling. Come. So he knows that the Caracoon is landing. My dad, he told you that story about the climbing accident? He was proud of you. So I guess the two of you weren't that close, huh? Why would you say that? Because he didn't tell you the real story. He carried me on his back. You know, I used to think he told that story to make me look good, but now I think it was more for him. I want to know what really happened on Ganymede. And you're going to tell me. We're done here. What happened to my team? You'll get a, a firing squad for this. Were you testing a weapon on us? On your own soldiers? The whole generation has forgotten what it means to sacrifice for the dream of Mars. What killed my team? <laughs> The hybrid covered more than two kilometers on the ground. You watched that thing slaughter my team. We were a goddamn sales demo. Did you get a good deal? Put it in order? It was for the good of Mars. Motherfucker! Yeah! Piece of shit. Captain Martins needs to see you. them 
into that thing. And they said it's a hybrid, so I'm guessing that's a human being that's been exposed to the protein molecule, but who? Is it me? That's what I'm getting at. and we can't see them either. How about I take her in from here? God, damn her a heart attack, then. Just give it to Kochar. What the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> Sergeant Draper, when I said I need your help, I didn't mean create a diplomatic incident. Then you should have been more specific. <laughs> You're right about that thing on Ganymede, ma'am. It was a weapons test. The weapon's up for sale and Mars wants it. Badly. The peace talks, they were a delaying action to buy time. Fuck off. To complete the terms of the contract, I guess. I took that off Captain Martins. He's in on it for sure. And I bet Minister Korshinov is too. Get it to sick end right away. We need to know what's on it as soon as possible. This is a brave thing you have done today. We're all in your debt, Sergeant Draper. You don't have to call me Sergeant, ma'am. I'm not a soldier anymore. You'll always be a soldier. This must be my lucky Whoa, shit. Mine now too? What the fuck? Do you like pizza? And let's talk this out before things get ugly. Here's your Where's my? Oh, shit. Oh. Hold still. I'll fix you. Oh, he must. How come I'm the one who always gets shot? <laughs> You're the protector, Amos. Oh, did you see? You and I are fortunate to spend our lives in positions of great privilege and power. If you truly have the best interests of Earth at heart, you will meet with me and we will come to an accommodation. Fuck's sake. Don't refuse this offer. It won't be repeated. So, what do you think? It's a trap! It's a fucking trap. Oh, yes. <laughs> it is a trap. You're going to accept. I think they're going to set her up for it. I already did, an hour ago. Avasarala! Oh no. We're gonna have a freezing man on our hands here. You fucking what? She's not even the only one. Stop. 
Oh, man, I don't know who it is. They did this for a purpose. Oh, my God. Are they making the hybrids? What are you doing? No! I came here to destroy the proto-molecule, and that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, my God, he's incinerating children now? I can't believe Jim just did that. thing is took the brunt of the blast shit no i think something broke out of this i got a data core the alarm we heard was a depressurization alert the inner door closed automatically when the outer was breached something tore the shit out of this airlock is i is i Please. Did you help that kid in the incinerator? Or anyone on Eros? You expect us to help you? What was it? You used a protomolecule on children. We made a protomolecule to do what we wanted. We made it in our own image. There's a lot more where she came from. Oh, you fucking idiots! Oh, we're fucked. you find us? MCRN, they set up a no-fly, but they cleared a black op ship to land right here, so... Alex. I'm not happy that that thing is out. Alex? Stand by, we're gonna suit up and come out. Roger that. Jim. I'm not going with you. What? What? We have to do good where we can, when we can. I'm going back to make sure there's some Nambulist is up and running. And I'm going to help Melissa get as many people off this station as we can before it dies. If we don't catch that thing out there, a lot more people will die. I wanted to believe we could stop this. We can't. What the fuck, Naomi? Good to go. What? No! Prax, go with them. No, I'm going with you. Thank you. Oh. Uh, Chief, you best come 
take a look at this. Oh shit. It sure as hell seems like it's looking at us. Mother of God, that thing ain't got a vaccine on. Huh? What the fuck is that bus one? What the hell is that thing holding? Suit up. We're going on the hunt. No. I feel like it's going to take me a week to get over that episode because so much went on. Everything is coming to a head. On Earth, Bobby got to the bottom of what was going on. She was... Her and her team were... They were basically fed to the, to the hybrid. So that was just weapons testing. And that's why the, everyone was watching, was to get an idea that this was going to work. It was really horrible hearing the voice kind of play back their version of what happened as well. Because it was like, look, it just totally took out four Martians and six Earthers. And, uh, 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 uh. It's just, it was really sickening, actually. I, did, I actually felt a little bit nauseous um, during that bit. And angry, really angry on her behalf. And I, I mean, I don't like Martins at the best of times. And like I say, every time we're in this situation, it's not that I don't understand what he's saying. It's not that I don't understand geopolitics, but it's that often someone presents a tough choice, which is not the tough choice. Like sacrificing other people's lives to make yourself feel a bit safer is not the tough choice taking a risk that you're terrified on to make the world a better place for other people that's a tough choice and it really grinds my gears when people say things like well oh, we're pragmatic and we're making the tough choice when it's like no you're not you're scared and you're just lashing out and you try and present it as wisdom and it's not it's the most base human instinct to just lash out and survive so you don't get a cookie um for that so I call bullshit on Martins and that whole, you know, spiel that he was giving Bobby because it's just no, it's not true. And so that drives Bobby. And I mean, she went in that room, I think, pretty clear on what she was going to do. We saw her prepping in front of the mirror. She had, That was planned. That was not just spontaneous rage. You know, she found out this information and she went off for one. That was a clear plan that she had and she executed on it. She made it out of the building, ran across the perimeter so that she could cross into UN territory. She needed to be off of the sort of the Martian embassy. So she's off technically Martian soil and she could claim political asylum, which she knew Avassarala would grant her because Avassarala wants her help to to you know move things forward and, and try and figure out what the fuck has gone down these last couple of months but Avasarala is in a sticky situation because although she now knows that project caliban is is true she knows who's behind it she's now in a, in a really precarious situation because they're going to have this hearing in which on the surface of it erin wright is preparing to take you know to just go down um to fall on his sword but now we have my calling up asking for this meeting so you're potentially going to have a situation where you could have evidence of a vasarala meeting with my privately um erin wright testifying against her and attempting to put his you know the burden of his responsibility on her shoulders and have her take the fall for it Which is what I've been worried about all along. I kept saying I hope that he's not, you know, uh, but we just don't, we don't know yet. We're not going to know, I don't think, until we see that play out. So I'm just considering it from all angles. I don't think I would go to the my meeting. As curious as I would be, it's just too risky. They can just shoot you and it's over. 
So I, I don't, I don't see what she's going to gain from it relative to what she could lose, which is why I would refuse it. She already knows about Project Caliban. They're working on the data. How much more can Mao give her that he couldn't give her in testimony if they arrested him? So I wouldn't meet Mao. But that, you know, I know I'm not sure, quite sure I'm as smart as a Vassarella. And she might have a plan that I can't see. So that's, wait and see that develop. Meanwhile on Ganymede. So I think they've been using the kids. Somehow, I think in the production of the hybrid. And I, and I don't know yet exactly how that's worked. But that poor little kid looked like desiccated. It looked like almost like he it had all of the stuff sucked out of it. Ugh. It wasn't just May. It was a whole bunch of children. And it was just interesting seeing people react to that, particularly Jim, who just didn't even hesitate in incinerating that child. I mean, I'm assuming I couldn't tell whether the child was dead or alive. It just looked fucked up. I couldn't work out if it was like dead and just in stasis, like frozen. Or in some condition I couldn't quite understand, but it looks like it was an incinerator anyway, so it was probably that was what was that was the destiny of the child. But I get, you know, if you go back to what um Naomi was saying last episode and before, you know, each you know, each bad thing we do it just makes the next one easier. I feel like Jim could be on a pretty slippery slope right now because he just did not, he was not in any way faced by that. And now he asked Naomi to be there so that she could bring him back. And now Naomi and Amos are off on a side mission. They, they, they're going off to, to sort the synambulist out and help that woman you know, get people to fuck off of Ganymede because it's all collapsing. And I and I kind of admire Naomi for that because her focus is on protecting life. I'm not quite sure what Jim's is. I think Jim's is more like getting the protein molecule. I don't, I'm not even sure he understands why he's doing it anymore. We've not yet seen Dr. Strickland. We don't know, is Dr. Strickland what was tied up? Because that blonde woman was there and Dr. Strickland wasn't. So you've got to start wondering now, hang on, did Strickland test this on himself? And that was kind of, you know, when you think about, you know, Turby and Janice talking about protocol and everything on Venus. You know, maybe Strickland has gone that way and just gone, fuck it, I've got, you know, I'm doing it. Maybe he is, maybe we had, did just see Strickland outside. The hybrid is him. But the woman, I did notice that the woman said her, she gendered the protein molecule. Which makes me think it's a woman. So it's... Uh, This is going to be a hell of an end to this season. My brain is proper on it now. And of course, the other thing we've got in play is, is Venus. And yet, the protein molecule is developing on Venus, just as it developed on Eros. We've got lots of those blue interconnected viney whiny things that are turning into new structures. And fuck's sake... So it looks like we're about to populate Venus and Iturbi and Janus managed to get a single probe down in the end by basically cannibalizing one probe to make one and make the other into like a mega probe. But even then it lasted like a couple of seconds on the surface. They managed to at least see the blue stuff. I hope that was a recording that they can keep watching back. But they're going to be confused at their timelines. They're going to be looking, you know, they're looking basically at magic. They're just like, what? There's just life spontaneously creating on the surface of Venus. 
so they are going to be completely spun out and trying to figure it out and i think that's going to be really cool for janice i'm interested to, actually to i really want to like him i enjoyed him a lot more this episode because actually he his mind is opening when he's presented with the evidence and that's all i can ever ask for in a person so i'm i'm happy with that and i kind of like his attitude when he's kind of not getting at people that i like he's he's sort of quite dark wit i i got a little soft spot for so i'm interested to see that partnership develop between a two of you this sort of you know smiling optimist um versus janice's kind of quite sardonic wit i think this could be quite a comedy pairing actually over time so that was a really good episode i like i enjoyed it I really want to see how this plays out and I'm really glad we've only got two episodes after the season now so I can just buckle up and be like, okay, home straight. But shit, like, what is the hybrid? Is it May and Strickland? It feels like they've used the kids as, like, incubators for something that they're then sucking out of them and transferring into something that creates something but we're going to find out until the next time bye bye